All right, here we are, peeps. We've teamed up with the good people from Tent Paint and Jacob from Go Industrial on this one. We are using the tent wall. So this comes straight out of Melbourne, delivered straight to your door within a matter of days. They have the ceiling prep. Uh, I have personally used all of them. They've got the water-based enamel plus um, exterior and your low sheens. So. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be opening it up. Colour is so fresh and so clean. And hell yes, it's going to be. This is it here. I just love the way they market it. You know, even where it says, Hey, I'm carrying paint. Please keep this side facing up. It's my good side. Which is your good side, peeps? So this is, and you just, oh, we've got a stirrer in here as well. Let's open that up. It's got a little stirred, not shaken. Love it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna open this up. I always, that's how I open up my drums. Sometimes they're really hard to open another way. It might look pretty silly, but you can use your bum. So you put pressure on the back of it and you peel it down like that, or Another thing, put it, put it there. The more you push on this side, the more this end's gonna just pop up like that. So that's one way, or I use like that and sort of counterweight that and push that up to open it. But that's it there. So fresh, so clean. It's actually not a bad smelling paint. Um, you know how you get some paints that smell pretty toxic when you open them? Um, seriously? This smells sort of like bananas to me. Um, my wife always says I have a weird, um, you know, I can eat chocolate and think it tastes like Vegemite, so figure that one. But anyway, look. So what we're doing, we're just giving a bit of a mix. It always comes uh, pre-tinted to whatever colour you like, plus uh, it's already been shaken. And now we give it a stir. Always when you're stirring. I know it makes it hard. I know they are pretty small, but they can't really fit them in a uh, bigger ones in a bigger in a box as well. So we're always trying to care for the environment, which they do. Uh, most of their packaging and that is recycled cardboard. So we always just try to um, yeah, do what we can to. I know we're not all perfect, but if we all try to do one thing that helps out with the environment, it's better than. Um, nothing, that's for sure. So, all right, another thing. I always just use my hands for bloody everything. So here we go, this is what I'm doing. I haven't got a freshly prepared brush with me. So, that's pretty much what we're doing. We don't have to worry about drop sheet or anything as well. This is a uh, kitchen that's all getting completely ripped up, so. Doesn't, doesn't matter too much. What we've got going on this one, chosen to run the 190 uh, PC today. Lightweight, but uh, still runs the endurance pump. So this pump here runs all the way up to the 595. Um, interchangeable endurance pump. So, you know, if you've got a couple of the same sort of guns with the universal pump on it, you can swap them out. If one blows out, you can take one out of the other gun, put it in this one in a matter of minutes, and away you go. So, awesome little machine. I love running it. Uh, like I said, you can carry it around with you from, from room to room, or even hook it up with a 30 meter lead, and she still pumps out the paint. So anyway, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a gun. Let's do it. For all you good peeps at home, I'm gonna pop this in. Pop this into the tent. We've got this one. This is connected a lot of the time too, but I don't like to have my primer um, hose sitting in uh, the paint ever. I always rather have, I usually have a bit of water. Just a bit of water. And then after I prime whatever water's in the gun, and then I'll just Sit, sit it in the water like that. So 
that's that's what I do. But here we go. Make sure everything's turned on. Make sure everything's tightened up. Always like to check before we start. I always like to check um, all my filters. This this gun doesn't really um, have a filter on the machine, but obviously it has a filter inside the handpiece here. So I always like to check that. Make sure the filter is the right one for the right application. So you've got your 60 or your 100 mesh. So with this one, we're running the 100 mesh and we're gonna be spraying it out. I'll just, um, I have got the clean shot on this one as well. But a quick, quick other thing as well. You got a lot of different shifters. Um, this one, I think you get it for like $14 from Bunnings, but this seems to go with a lot of the other ones, the smaller ones that don't wide go all the way out or all the way in as far as you want. So with these, I find for such a little shifter, um, look how far she pops out with this one. So, you know, this is really good for sweet, especially even any of these ones. So I love this little shifter. This works really good. But here we go. We're gonna go, um, like I said, everything's plugged in. We should be all right to go. Everything you made sure is tightened up. Um, first, always downwards is prime. Uh, hold this, just make sure it doesn't go splatting everywhere. Turn it on at the back, which would be good. Prime it out. The smaller guns will always take longer to prime than your bigger guns. So as soon as water comes out, I'll just shift it back straight into here. Keep it priming. Make sure it's primed. Got all the way through your gun, getting out any air bubbles and stuff like that. Turn it down, give it a bit of shaking on like I said, just sit it back in the water, I'll give it a bit of a shake around. Because there's nothing worse on a hot day than that starting to clog up inside there, and then it can clog, clog your, um, your prime hose. So I always just like to sit in the water. Now I just turn it to my spray, which is on your diagonal. And always just have the pressure, always pretty much hold that down, your trigger, and then just slowly turn it up. Otherwise, if you have the pressure built, if you have the pressure up, it might build up too much pressure. When you shoot down on the trigger, it might just blow all over yourself, plus over everything else. So now it's starting to, as you can see, starting to shoot out paint. Right. So that's pretty much how you set it up anyways, and um, from priming to getting ready to spray. This is uh, the Graco Queen shot on the end of here as well. So that just eliminates, especially when you're running the extension, just eliminates any spitting and that type of thing. Uh, perfect for, you know, just eliminating, like I said, any splatters or spits. So then we're ready to go. We're gonna decide what one to put in. I'm blowing out ceilings and walls, so I'm gonna be running the LP517 on this one. Um, so yeah, what I always like to do now, it's primed and it's uh, ready for spray. Turn back down the pressure, right? turn it to prime, shoot out any thing, and now we're ready to put our tip in. 